Hi everybody. Hi there. Good oh, to see you. Wow. It's been a while. It has. Yeah, we didn't have a, a, a class last week. We did not. And you know what, what? Pastor Sam? What? What's that? You were missed. Was I? And do you know how I know this? How? Well, I received some phone calls. Oh, were they angry or happy? Ma Michael Bryant. Really? And Scott Sam said, Debbie, mm -hmm. when is Sam coming back? From vacation. Oh well, that's. Yeah. And they, I, because I told them okay. you had gone on a very mm -hmm. uh, wonderful vacation. You stayed right here. Yes, I did. Fishing. Yes, lots of fishing. And so, therefore, mm -hmm. they said, "Would you tell him we've missed him? We well, really miss have missed too. him. Yeah. And when's he coming back? Yeah, I know. I know. So." Hey. And here I am. I know. But we did miss you, Pastor thank Sam. Thank you. Thank I'm you. I miss being you. here. I miss being here. Well, but you know what? What? Listen. Mm -hmm. You needed to catch fish. You know why? Why? Because. Okay. When we go to the Bluff City Diner, I'm you're contributing yeah. for all you can eat uh, fish. That's true. I gotta, I, I'm got. i preparing myself. That's right. All you can eat. All I can eat. I, you, you know, you've already accomplished all you can catch. Now, now you're it's all be I can all eat. All you can eat fish. All right, it's going to pay off. I'm it's just saying. That's, that's right. That's I like awesome. how that happens. Well, I, I really missed everybody, too, and it was good to go on vacation for... I didn't call it a vacation. I called it a staycation because I stayed at home. Good. And then just went, you know, fishing. It was either just me or me and my son. Right, right. So we didn't go out in public and get involved in all that craziness out there. So, sure. No, you know. and you know what? I really mm -hmm. am pretending that my house... Is Hawaii? It Well, I ain't gone quite that far. <laughs> Haven't gone quite that far. But I'm pretending like it's, you know how you'll rent um, uh, or cabins? Because yeah. about a year ago, mm -hmm. um, two college friends and I mm -hmm. went to a cabin yeah. in um, Pitch and Forge. Mm. So I'm just pretending. Oh, so you're camping at I'm, home. I'm camping at home. That's pretty cool. We could camp at home. We can have a staycation. Yes. I guess if your imagination is big enough, you can do all kinds of things. Well, and just saying. Yeah, there we so, go. So, you know. And then, and the good thing about a staycation is you can definitely sleep more. Yes, you can. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you can. And, oh, let me tell you something that I did. What's that? Michael Bryant's rubbing off on me. Okay. All right, Mike, we got to watch out for you. He's rubbing off on me because right. guess what, what Debbie did? What? Yes, she did. She got... Signed up okay. for a month. A whole but month. But I'm, 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 I'm getting where I might have more than one month now. Okay. Disney Plus. Oh, my that goodness. That has Star Wars. Oh, man. And, oh, my goodness. All that good stuff. Yes, but you know why I did? Why? why? I Because I have been wanting for a very, very, very long time uh -huh. to see the Broadway show Hamilton. Oh. It's about one of our founding fathers, yeah. Alexander Hamilton. Yeah, yeah. Does so he like it? Disney has it on. Okay. And so then at my house, I pretended that I was in a big, big <laughs> theater. Broadway. Broadway theater. Well, this yep. is this is off, 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 off Broadway. That's exactly yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, Broadway. At Holston Drive. There we go. There we go. Bristol, Tennessee. There we Broadway go. Broadway at Holston Drive. <laughs> so, but I loved Hamilton. Yes, I did. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Oh, wow. And then... You know, I still haven't seen it. Well, it is... You know, I was living in the New York metro area when that came out. And really? Everybody, and everybody went real nuts to see it. And you couldn't get tickets. And right. All this kind of stuff. And I was like, oh, well, you know. But it's still a big hit. It is a huge hit, mm -hmm. and really and truly, the reason that, yes, I wanted to see it in the yeah. theater, and maybe one day I will, but by having it on Disney+, Plus, I'm able to watch it over and, and over, over. Okay. again, and pick up things that I might have missed in some of mm -hmm. the um, scenes, mm -hmm. but what I did do, and this is what I highly recommend that anyone, before they see it, is to go to Wikipedia mm -hmm. and read about Alexander Hamilton's life. Oh, okay. Then you have a better understanding 
of what each of the scenes oh, mean. Okay. Well, and then, or, you know, some folks, you can do that. Or if you just want to watch it, you, you just watch, watch it. it. Yeah. But I like, oh my goodness. Yeah. So, yes. Okay. But I have watched other things on Disney Plus. Oh, like what? Oh, it's getting, I'm getting hooked. Well, I saw one that um, on Ruby Bridges, which is also a documentary okay. about um, a lady. Mm -hmm. She was um, age six. Mm -hmm. She was the first African American cool. young lady to go to a white school in oh, New Orleans. Wow. And it was her life and what all she went through. That's really cool. Her first year. And mm. it was terrific. Now, I got a question though. If you think, what if Mike had Disney Plus? What do you think he'd watch? Star Wars. Oh, it, Star, it, all listen, of Star Wars. Listen, okay. because right. on there, you've got Pixar. Anyway, it's got one yeah. section only of all the Star Wars movies. Wow, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Or, like, what do you think, like, Jan and them would watch? They would probably like, um, well, there's a, an, the original and then one that they recreated about Lady and the Tramp. Oh, I remember that, that movie, the two dogs, and they have the, they go to the Italian restaurant and they eat the spaghetti. That's right. And that's, oh, okay, I remember Lady that. and the Tramp, because you know that. how they love dogs. Yeah, that's true. And, and of course, Jan likes Disney, because her face mask is Disney. Uh-huh. That Peggy Hill yeah. um, made for nice. her. Nice. And, um... Mary Poppins is on there. Oh, cool. That is pretty awesome. Saving Mr. Banks, which was a, uh, oh. about Walt Disney and the creating Mary Poppins. And I like the new animated movies like um, there is, uh, is it Monsters Incorporated? Yes. Oh, they're on there. Oh, oh they're that's on cool. There. That's a cool movie. Oh, my goodness. And then they've got these on Pixar, these short films. Uh -huh. And probably my favorite is called Lou. It's only like three minutes. And it's about this school bully. Oh. That he mm. starts they um taking mm -hmm. like footballs and um from other children and their toys that they're playing with. And there there's this box called Lost and Found. No it, Lost and it, Found. Uh -huh. mm. And it is beyond cool. Okay. And so so that's, that's a definite thing you can do. If you're feeling bored, you can ask and see about getting some Disney Plus or I whatever just, that Oh my goodness, is. that's the best thing that I've done. Okay. So. Cool. Yeah, I, well, I, I did, like I said, I did fishing, and I watched fishing videos to get oh, better yes. at it. And yes. Because I go on YouTube, and they got like thousands of these, you know, how to do this kind of thing and how to do that. I had fun with that, so... Yeah, I mean, there's. I mean, if you look hard enough, there's always something you can do, even if you're feeling really bored. There exactly. is something, right? So just remember that, everybody. Exactly. There is something you can do. You might need to ask for a little help to get set up on it, but there's definitely something. And we're here to do something. And what are we here to do? We're here to sing and have a Bible story, and mm -hmm. for us to connect again with all of you. How much yeah. we enjoyed. Coming to each it of your homes. It was very cool. Yeah. Oh my goodness. But we have to start by doing one thing. We got to say hi to everybody. We'll do that. Are you ready? I am ready. All right. So we're going to start with the lineup. Okay. You here, know where you sit. Who, who's who's to my left? Flora May. Hey Flora May. Hey, hey Flora, Flora May. May. And then there's Patty. 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 Hey Patty. There Good to you see go. You. And then there's. Jan. Jan. Hey, Jan. Hi, Jan. Hey, Jan. And let me stop right there. Okay. When this airs, guess whose birthday it is? Whose? Jan. Oh, so. We have to sing happy birthday. Let's sing happy okay. birthday okay. right okay. now to Jan. Okay. So one, two, three. Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jan. Happy birthday to you. All right, that's awesome. That's great. Isn't that great? Yeah, and, great. Oh, and guess what she'll be getting Sunday? What? The birthday cake and card from Dot Madison. Oh, that's awesome. That's yes, awesome. Indeed, you know, and Miss, you know, and I have to say hi to Miss Dot. Now, yes. we haven't got to her yet, but she called me the other day. I haven't had a chance to call her back because we got... I got into all kinds of craziness and I was on vacation. But right. it was nice to hear from you, Miss Dot. I will call you back. I promise you. 
And thank you so much for sending Jan her birthday cake and card. I know she's going to love it. Exactly. Yeah. So now who sits next to Jan? All right. Michael. Mike. What's up, Mike? Hey Stop there. rubbing off on Miss Debbie. That's right. <laughs> I am loving that Disney Plus. Then next to Michael is Scott. Scott. Hey, Scott. Good to see you, Absolutely. brother. Absolutely. And then next to Scott is our friend Chris. Yes, yes. And so, what is it? I love you. That's right. That's exactly right. That's yeah. it. And then next to Chris is Porter. Porter. Hey, Porter. Hey, Good Porter. to see you. And then Harry. And oh, isn't that great? Good to see, Good you, Harry. To see you, Harry. Yeah. And then. Miss Jolene. Hey, Miss Jolene. Good to see you. I'm and Mr. Here. Don, too, if you're Absolutely. watching. Good to see you. And then next to Miss Jolene is Violet. Violet. Yes. 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 And, and so we'll say I love you. That's right. Yeah. And say hello to her uh, her roommate, Sandy. Yes, Sandy. Good to see you. It was really nice to meet you. Wasn't that it the was. best? It, was. it really was good. And then, and then again, Miss Dot, if she was sitting here. That's right. Miss Dot. And, and Miss Diana. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Miss Diana. Absolutely. And then... Well, and then there's me. Pastor Sam. And then there's everybody that's always around us all the time, taking really good care of us and helping us, and they're God's angels in our lives. Our caretakers. Exactly Thank you, right. caretakers. Right here. Absolutely. Awesome. awesome. Absolutely. So we've said hi to everybody. They know what we were doing. For the last week or so. That's right. And uh, I'm hope that they've been having some fun. Mm -hmm. And now we get to do our song, right? You That's ready? exactly right. Are you happy to sing your song? I'm real happy to sing. Are you song. really excited to sing your song? Why not? Are they? I, you know what? I don't think they want to sing. I don't know. I don't know if they want to sing. Well, Are you, you know sure? What? Guess what? What? Do you not remember when we went to all their homes? Yeah. We did more singing. That's true. Than we did any talking. We oh, did that's much true. more singing. We did a lot of singing. We so we, we got to make sure to get our I song. I like it. All so right. Okay. All right. All right. So we're going to sing what? God is so good? God is so good. So God is so good. You know this and we'll, we'll get it going here. Um, let's see. You ready? I am ready. Okay. So we're going to go one, two, three. God is so good, God is so good, God is so good, He's so good to me, He cares for me, He cares for me, He cares for me, He's so good to me. Let's go to number four. He loves me so. He loves me so. He loves me so. He's so good to me. That's a good song. Because God is good. Song. He is. Yeah, God is, God is really, really good. Well, you know, and God is so good, I think... And one way that he's really good is that he calls us together to 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 kind of be like a family, right? That's right. That's exactly right. And what do families do for each other? Well, they help one another. Do they? Mm -hmm. that, that sounds like it might be kind of a lesson. Yeah, they, they help one another. What? Do you think there's anything in the Bible about the family of God, all of us taking care of each other? You know what? What? I think there is. Is there? I think there's a, I think there is. All right. Well, you know, there's only one place we can turn if we want to find the answer to that question, and it's the Bible. Bible. Yeah. I can hear Patty now going, you know, is there anything in the Bible about this or that? And you know what? Mm -hmm. We almost always do find yeah. something in the Bible because these are the stories that we know will help us mm -hmm. how to love one another. Yeah, yeah, be the people Jesus wants us mm -hmm. to be. Well, let's see. I'm going to check my Bible out here. <laughs> Is there anything in here about helping each other? I don't know. Wait a minute. I, I think I might have found something. Good, good. So this is from Acts chapter 2. 
Oh, yes. There's also, uh, in Acts chapter 4, there's a portion of it. So, if in case you don't know, Acts, the book of Acts, is the Acts of the Apostles. But it's really just called the Acts. Right. I think it's also the Acts, the ongoing Acts of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit inspires us and makes us do things and then the apostles they did things so it's kind of like the story of all the awesome things jesus did in the hearts of his believers that's what the book of acts is about do you know what and how about how we all the time hear about doing acts of kindness yeah to one another yeah and our actions mm -hmm. will show people yeah. that we truly love people and yeah. And it's Jesus. like this, the book of Acts. So the Acts, the book of Acts is kind of, are they lessons to help us yeah, to know it's kind of like, how yeah. we're supposed to be acting? Yeah, and it's kind of like stories. It's, it's their instances, stories from people's lives when Jesus really showed up and helped them uh, do amazing things in his name and uh -huh. for each other. And so I think that's a... It, I it's, like it. Yeah. So we'll remember that when we all gather together again, that the book of Acts... It's all about how we need to be yeah. acting. Yeah, exactly. They're Toward good others. examples. They're good examples. Yes. Because these people were normal people like like we are. Well, of course. But Jesus was so awesome in their lives and changed them. They did great things. In fact, they they changed the whole. By the time they get to the end of the book of Acts, uh -huh. this little group of Christians in Jerusalem have spread out so far. Paul's getting ready to go into Rome, into the heart of the empire itself. It's so awesome. Wow. Yeah, one book. That's wow. Great. That's great. So listen, this one is called Helping One Another. Oh, good. Help, so this, we yeah. found it. We there, found it good. The Bible always has something to say. Absolutely. So here is what the Bible lesson says. Right after God sent the Holy Spirit, so important. Yes. You know, because Jesus isn't walking around like we can see him, like I'm seeing Miss Deborah now. He's at, in, in heaven with the Father, mm -hmm. right? So how do we relate to Jesus? Well, he sends us the Holy Spirit to connect us. It's like, um, you ever plug something in to the electrical socket? Okay. So you've got like a, I don't know, a blender. Yes. Now, if you don't plug it into the socket and connect it, is the blender going to turn on? No, it is not. But once you have that connecting cord yes. to the power source, what happens to the blender? It starts working. Well, the Holy Spirit is our connection to Jesus Christ, just like a cord and a blender. Isn't that something? That's exactly it. And you know what? Mm -hmm. We're all the time charging our phones with that connection. Yeah, there just, you go. You know what? I'd like to think of the Holy Spirit yeah. charging me. Mm-hmm. To be, to do God's will. I think that's pretty awesome. Yeah. I think that's a good way of looking at it. Yeah. I'm all charged up. <laughs> so right after God sent the Holy Spirit to the believers, some wonderful things began to happen. The believers were amazed at the power they had, and it was given to them because of the Holy Spirit. Again, it's that power, that energy, that source of life right from the heart of God comes to us through Jesus Christ and the power of the Spirit, they were filled with great love. That's the power. Right? Okay, yes. That, yes. That, that, that power that unites Father, Son, and Holy Spirit at the heart of it is love. Wow. Um, they were filled with great love for one another, and they cared very much about each other. That sounds like a, a church, right? That's what a church yes, should be. That's right. Yeah. This care and concern... They didn't invent it. They didn't make it up. It was from God. So, they, but the believers, these brothers and sisters, they met together constantly, enjoying each other's company and helping each other with whatever needs they had. This was not, there was no selfishness among them. They shared everything in common the things that they had, they shared their food. That's hard sometimes to share your food. Like, what if you're really hungry? Are you good at sharing if you're really hungry? Well, it all depends. Yeah, I usually do. Because I always try to make more than what I need to be eating. I, I, well, I'm kind of bad about this. I have to admit it. So my wife, 
she she always she grew up and her family they always shared food because in Korea yes. you eat from like the center of the table everybody oh, picks nice. from the kind of like family yes. style yes um, but and when I was growing up you know everybody got their own plate and then you had to and my grandma would always tell me clean your plate right 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 so that was mine I had to clean it and I was really hungry and you better not touch my plate or I'm gonna get mad. And so my wife and I, we have to wrestle, you know, wrestle sometimes because she is like, oh, can I try some of that? And I'm like, no, get your own. I, so I'm, I, I fail on this sometimes. Well, you know what? When you ask about sharing food, yeah. um, the way uh, the reviews in Debbie's Diner, mm. I don't know if people would really want to eat what I've prepared. <laughs> they so, might want. They might really want to share it, right? Yeah, like, they, they might, hey, why don't you try some of this? Try it. Exactly. <laughs> they, they might be bringing food to me. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Well, so this is what they did. Their, their love united them. They shared everything they had. They shared their food. They shared their clothing, and they shared their money. Oh no! I know no. some people in friendship class. I know they got some money in their pocket. Yes. And they want to spend it. But maybe sometimes, I don't know, they could share it too. Well, you know, and they do. I'm when sure. When they come, um, they're good about giving um, an offering. Oh, to, yes, they, that's they good. do. They, they, um, Patty was very instrumental in, in us uh, doing that. Mm. And we'll do that and then we'll put it in an envelope to give to, to Betsy for it to go to the church. Yeah. That's so great. they're good about sharing money. Yes, sharing, sharing is really important. This, they shared so much. Some people even sold the land that they had. Some of them sold their houses. Some of them gave other possessions and they shared all the money from this uh, with each other in this young church. And if somebody didn't have something, then, then they were able to help that person get what they needed. This is what's reminded me of what the deacons mm -hmm. at First Presbyterian Church do. Yeah, yeah that's true. And our um, youth mm -hmm. that are all the time doing wonderful things. Yeah. And, and yeah, wow. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of the basis of what yeah. we're supposed to be as a yeah. church. But this was this was so radical. Like we have to constantly learn how to do this. This was so radical because of all their generosity and care for each other and shared so much. Mm -hmm. Like people, again, you know, we have people who sold land and stuff and gave it, and then and that was shared with everyone. It was it was shared so much that nobody actually suffered from the extreme poverty. Everybody was able to eat. They had again clothing. They had a shelter over their head. You know, nobody went without. Everybody had as much as they needed. Oh. To awesome? be there, yes, to be there again. Yeah. Wow, that is so good. Well, so they did some other things. The believers worship together at the temple every day, not just once a week. They love God so much; they were there, and they were gonna, they were gonna worship God. They met often in each other's homes. They shared the Lord's Supper. We do that. Yes, still. we do. We have yes. communion. Yes, right, and the bread and the wine or the grape juice. Right, and you remember Jesus. And they also shared regular meals, too. Nice. And they loved being together and praising God. Mm -hmm. Every single day, God added more people to their group. The church was growing very fast. Wow. That sounds like an awesome, awesome place to be. I mean, we do some of these things to a certain extent, but we could always do more. Yes, 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 we could. Yes. Yeah. But that's, this is what they were doing. And they had problems, too. Not everybody did this perfectly. But, you know, the church kept growing and getting better at these things. And, yeah, you know, we're always a work in progress, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I think, I think helping people and sharing is so, so, so important. You know, we, we all need help sometimes. I understand you needed some help here recently. Well, I did. Um, I had just a little fall at my house mm. and um right below your fourth toe okay so let me right count them big toe is one, one two three four, four. okay right, right, right before to, the pinky that's okay. exactly right i've got a hairline fracture and it's improving 
but um, I'm walking on a cane. I was supposed to stay off of it, and I've done as much as I could, okay. but um, I did it. Um, the week before I had my, do you all notice anything different about Debbie? Take a close look. See anything? Where are my glasses? Well, you're, you don't have any glasses. I don't have all my glasses and I can see you very clear. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad it's thing? It's a great thing. <laughs> so I had cataract surgery okay. on my right eye and here I am. It was walking in with the cane, but you know what? Mm -hmm. The surgery went fantastic. So you all will love this. Mm -hmm. So then they do the surgery, then they put a patch over your eye. So then you go back the next day and they take the patch off. And they said, read the chart. Mm. So I start reading the chart and I went, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't have all my glasses. Wow. And they just laughed and said, no, keep reading. I said, but wait, I don't have on my glasses. <laughs> keep reading. So now my vision mm -hmm. um, is now 2020 and a few letters I could see at 2025. Wow. So, hey, nice. what year is this? 2020. 2020. Hey, you can see. And so now I can see That's awesome. 2020 well, in 2020. So you needed some help, and then you went to the doctors, you went to the right. hospital, well, and you got some help. Right. Now, here's the interesting thing. I bet you didn't know this. Do you know who started the first hospital? You know, I do not know this. They were Christians. We, the, the, the whole concept of a hospital is a Christian invention. I bet wow, you didn't I know did, that. I did not. Well, here's how it worked. There, you, Now, there were doctors, like physicians, right. going all the way to uh, Hippocrates and stuff. Right, you know, right, That's where you right. get the Hippocratic Oath. Right, exactly. But the people, you would have to go, that physician would come, and if you were wealthy enough or you had enough money, they would come to your house and they would treat you and see what they could do for you. And it was really sort of a transactional, one-on-one -on -one thing. But it was the early Christians in cities like Rome and other cities throughout the ancient world that there were all kinds of really poor people who couldn't afford to get a doctor. They didn't have anywhere else to go. They were maybe homeless, didn't have any money. And so they were basically taking their money, their resources, and they were caring for the poorest of the poor. So much so that even the ancient Roman emperors commented on how the Christians were showing them up through their generosity. Wow. And so in these groups, especially amongst the sick and the dying, they would basically create like a, a, a hospice or a, a, a form of hospitality, opening up homes and buildings to house these people. And then physicians would come in and treat them. And so this act of hospitality uh, you know, uh, right. uh, hospice from that root word, this care, intimate care for the most vulnerable, actually was the seedbed from which we got the, the uh, modern uh, concept of a hospital. And most I of, had no idea. Yeah, and so most that of That is cool. Well, and if you pay attention, uh, most of the uh, oldest, most famous big hospitals, mm -hmm. like especially in the United States, but this is true also in Europe, um, it was it was Christian uh, denominations and groups that started sure. them. So, for example, you've got the Presbyterian Hospital right. in New York right. City, which That's is right. one of the most famous big ones. The, there, now, uh, Jews also did this as well. There's like Mount Sinai. That's right. Well, that's a Jewish version of this. So it was from, you know, but Christians did a really great job of this, and that's they invented the concept, but uh, this is from this whole Judeo-Christian background of being basically our brother's keeper even when they're sick and vulnerable, and caring for them and alleviating their suffering. Well, do you know what my eye physician told me hmm. when I was thanking him so much yeah. of it, how excited and how successful uh, the surgery went? And he said to me, he said, your vision is as important to me as if it were my own yeah. because you are my sister in Christ. There you go.
And here's how he. And I was yeah. like, wow, Dr. Bradley, wow. Yeah. And th this is how spooky it even gets. You ever seen an ambulance? Yes. Oh, I and, and, and what's, and what's have. Have I been? Have I been in one? Yeah. Yes. Well, what, what's the symbol on the on the side of the ambulance? Well, it's a cross. Well, it's it, there's it's and a it, pole, and yes. there's two snakes that. Oh go yes, up it. yeah. Well, just like my um, medical alert. Yeah, it's it's a caduceus. Yes, exactly. Do, do you know Do you know where that that story comes from? Tell me. It's Moses in the wilderness uh, with the children of Israel. They were because they had sinned against the Lord. They were struck with with illness. Snakes had bitten them. That sort of thing. And so God instructed Moses to uh, to make this uh, wooden pole with these snake bronze serpents that went up them, the caduceus, and to stand it up, and everybody that looked at that was healed. That's where the symbol comes from. How about that? Yeah. The, the yes, whole because um, I wear this medical alert always mm -hmm. because if I were in trouble yeah. and it says... I have diabetes, so they know what yeah. to tr how to treat me. And the reason this one is so dear to me, my father did the engraving. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. He did the engraving. So, so you're so so somebody helped you with your eyes. That's right. With your foot. That's right. And these are ways that you know brothers and sisters care for that's each other. That's exactly in right. Yeah, and sometimes we don't even realize it, but it's all due to these lessons, uh, the Holy Spirit being in us and helping us do these things. You know, somebody else that really helped us a lot. Do you, do you know who I'm talking about? Um, yes, I do. And um, the friendship class has thought of her many times, have held her in prayer, mm -hmm. and she also was in the medical field. She was a nurse. She was a nurse and a very, very caring nurse. Our dear friend, Virginia Rutherford, yeah. um, has gone on to be with our Heavenly Father. Yeah. She passed yeah. uh, this week and, um, yeah. and Pastor Sam, I wanted to let you know mm -hmm. the friendship class will mm -hmm. always remember Virginia for this very reason. She made our songbooks. This Virginia did this. Yes, she did. Wow. She made copies okay. of the songs, put them in these plastic sleeves, got these notebooks, and therefore created did the the uh, index of all listing all the, for the wow. songs. Wow. And so you know. This is something that Virginia did to help us. She yeah. was part of our friendship class family yeah. and um, helped us and would always, always, she and Harold both mm -hmm. would remember um, all of us at Christmas time yeah. with gifts. Um, yeah. And she was such a... Not just a helper, but a loving, loving yeah. spirit. Amen. And she would send birthday cards to oh, people. Oh, yes, she would. Yes, yeah. she would. Yeah. And just a true, true um, servant of God and doing acts mm -hmm. of kindness yeah. and care for one another. Yeah. And those are the kinds of people that God sends our way. Yes, He does. To care for each other, and so we, when when God calls them back home to be with Him, you know, we're kind of sad, mm -hmm. but at the same time, we also celebrate that God gave us such an awesome gift, like He gave us in Virginia. He did. And we we got to be sure. I want everybody in the friendship class, if you would, be sure when you say your prayers today and tomorrow and. And for the in the coming days, I want you to pray for her husband Harold. Absolutely, because I, they I, all know Harold. Yes. Yeah, I was I was talking to Harold uh, even yesterday, and you know he's really sad, and you know he also knows that Virginia's with the Lord, but mm -hmm. you know they were married for sixty two years. Wow. Sixty two years they were and married, and they um, traveled all over yeah. the country, and um, they were when you. When you saw Harold, you saw Virginia. There we and go. When you saw Virginia, you saw Harold. Absolutely. They were a 
they were wonderful with each other. And, you know, I just want us all mm. to remember what a blessing our lives were touched by knowing precious Virginia. Yeah. Absolutely. So, and we have this as a reminder, don't we? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, and we sing God is so good and God is good and sending us people. And, and again, also to inspire us to care for each other like Virginia cared for us, like she, Jesus loved us. She did. And... Um, she was one that remembered um, because she knew my um, Uncle Sid, Dr. Whitaker. And she's probably one of very few people in the church, First mm -hmm. Presbyterian, that remembers mm -hmm. when I was diagnosed mm -hmm. with diabetes at age nine. Wow. So, um, because she remembered, she was a nurse then yeah. and knew um, my Uncle Sid very, very well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we give thanks, and we're going to pray uh, for her, um, giving thanks, and then praying for Harold, and we'll pray for other people in the class. But, you know, before we do, uh, that our story, I think, inspired a song, and Virginia showed it in her life. That's be right. Because she loved Jesus, and she loved other people. She showed that she obeyed this, um, it, what we're going to sing about. And, and the song is, and you know it is, This is My, my Commandment. commandment. Right? So and, let's try that. Let's and, let, that. and we will dedicate this to Virginia Rutherford's memory. Amen. And, and follow this so that we can be um, as giving as she showed us Amen. to be. Amen. All right. You ready? Mm-hmm. All right. This, this is, is my commandment, that you love one another, that your joy may be full. This is, wait, wait, wait. this is my commandment, that you love one another, that your joy may be full. That your joy may be full. That your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another, that your joy may be full. So to Friendship Class, Absolutely. obey this commandment that your joy may be full. Uh, Harold and uh, Virginia's family, if you're watching, I hope that your hearts are filled with joy, um, even amidst your sadness, knowing that uh, our sister in Christ, Virginia, was uh, faithful uh, even to the end. And uh, her joy is now full in the presence of the Father. And we look forward to the day when we shall see one another again. Absolutely. That's the promise that we have. As Jesus was raised, we'll be raised too. And uh, let's say a word of prayer for everybody, okay? Let's do that. Yeah. Thank you. Lord, I want to give you thanks uh, for Jesus Christ, the author and the finisher, the perfecter of our faith, who loved us enough, even when we were far off, even when we were your enemies, he loved us enough to give his life Lord, um, and, and, and give us so that we might have life. And so I thank you for that precious gift. And just ask, Lord, that we might remember it every day. And as he cared for us, we might care for others, that we might follow this commandment that he gave us to love one another. Lord, I pray for every member of the friendship class that we would love each other with all of our hearts and our minds and our souls, would just help each other because that's a reflection of us loving you with all that we have, our heart, mind, soul, body, and strength. Lord, we pray for uh, Harold and his family. Lord, we give you thanks for Virginia's life and just her kindness and her generosity and all the wonderful things about her, the gifts that you gave through her. And we're going to miss her. But Lord, uh, we know that we are united to Jesus Christ and the promise of his resurrection. And so help us have good hope in Jesus. Lord, and just be with Harold and the family and just console them and comfort them and help them know, Lord, uh, in the deepest parts of their hearts that death has been defeated. It is not the end. And help us look forward to the day that comes, uh, that is coming, when we shall see each other. And Lord, we pray all these things, just asking for the strength to continue on running our race faithfully. We pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All right. So until this time, next week, you got to take care of yourself, take care of each other. That's right. And I'll see you later. Bye. Bye now. See take ya. Take care.